Right now it's mostly pollinator plants. It's um, native pollinators to help support um, various bees, butterflies, moths, other, other area pollinators that are um, struggling. So welcome to my growing dome greenhouse. It's not mine, it belongs to KBIC, but I designed uh, the growing dome and we're gonna have a little tour. The idea is grow as many big plants as you can in the summer so the leaves shade the soil. And also I would recommend getting some kind of trees growing in here. Um, you know, I, I always like to have a dual purpose, but you could do a combination, you know, of, of your native plants plus some edibles. I mean, let herbs grow really well. This, this produces a Mediterranean plant, grow some herbs. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things, fruit trees, herbs, vegetables, as well as, as a huge amount of native plants for planting outside. So I see it as a multi-purpose multi, multi -purpose space. And so I always grow fruit trees because I love fruit. And they have big leaves in the winter, in the summer, and they have looser leaves in the winter. And that can be things like figs, um, pomegranate, apricots, apples, um, things that normally would be too cold, this climate would be too cold, but the, the dome moderates the climate enough that you can grow these things uh, in the winter and, uh, and in the summer. And then so in the winter, when they lose the leaves, then the sun is able to come in. And so in terms of what this thing is, this is a power pack of the dome. This is what really distinguishes it from a regular greenhouse. But this, I call this a year-round enclosed garden because that's essentially what it is. This is a good stuff. And the thing is, with the low winter sun, you want to have the sun shine on the dark painted surface of the tank all day long as the sun tracks across the sky. It's absorbing heat and at night releases the heat back into the dome and stops the freezing. Now in the summer it does the opposite thing. Now if you're in a regular greenhouse, you, would, you couldn't have been in here as long as we've been in here. I guarantee that. You would be... <laughs> what plants are in here already, you know? What plants are in here already? Oh, this is the bee balm that we talked about. Yep. Mm -hmm. Smells wonderful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Tastes good too. There's your mm -hmm. Earl Grey tea. Yeah. And then what's... Coriopsis. Pretty aster and then over that one. Black eyed Susan. Yep. But they're looking really That's healthy, aren't they? The only comment I would make is that generally when people sow seeds, they sow them too thick. That's me. Everybody does. Everybody. Does. Everybody, does. Everybody. Yeah, it's so hard to believe that those tiny little things are going to grow into a massive plant. In your case, you want something to survive in the stamp sand or the farmer stamp sand. I would say that more clumps and plugs will give them a chance. And then, you know, you've got beautiful roots here. And, and, and so taking some of your soil plus whatever you put into pots, you'll be, you'll be good to go. And you can have plants out for a little while like this, and they're not going to, to die. But then you just have to be careful about putting them back in. And